Today's all about measuring ROI in the marketing tune-up. We're gonna show you how you can measure offline ROI using your analytics, plus measure ROI of your digital efforts and do what works. I know you. You're probably spending money right now on newspaper ads, on mailers, on digital ads, but you can be honest with me. Do you actually know what that's doing? Is it bringing anyone in? Maybe it's great, maybe in your marketplace you should spend all your money on newspaper ads, but do you actually have the data to back that up? Today I wanna to show you a few ways that we can see what the ROI is so you can make informed decisions. Remember, digital marketing, it's not a one size fit all solution. You need to do what works for you. So the first thing I want you to look at today is the geography on your website. Where are people coming from? Now we can look by a country, by state, or even by city. So if you're running TV, radio, print ads, all things that we do and we love here, we wanna be able to measure that and the digital channels can help us do that. So if you look at your geography online, see if the traffic from certain markets or cities has increased after you've done traditional marketing. If you have a website on your TV ad or on your radio ad or on your newspaper ad, it should be going up from specifically direct traffic. Now if you can see that growth using your online analytics, that just creates justification for that traditional media ad. Go ahead and do more of it. If you're not seeing any growth at all, maybe it's time to reallocate to things that actually show real ROI. Now the second thing that you need to do to create real ROI is look at your keywords. Sure, people are gonna visit you based on your name. If I search my name, Scott Meyer, I might find myself, but I'd rather have people find me when they're looking for digital marketing or automotive marketing. And same thing goes for you. You wanna look at how many people are coming from your non-brand keywords. So if you're a Ford dealership, how many people are finding you using the word used Fords? Those are the people who don't yet know you or don't think about you. And they're the people you need to get into the door. They're not already in your community. They're new people that you need to find. So make sure that you have some non-brand keywords driving people to your site. If not, it might be time to do some more optimization. Now the sixth thing, the final thing when we talk to our marketing team we need to ask about and improve is the referrals. Now these referrals, we don't care necessarily what's bringing people to the site. We're wondering who's bringing leads to the site. Sure, I can go spend lots of money and drive a lot of people from the Philippines to your website. How many of those people are actual leads that your sales team can call and follow up with? So look at referrals not from the lens of visits, but instead from leads. How many people are filling out a form or requesting information? A lead is someone you can follow up with. If you answer these six questions and start improving on those six metrics, you're gonna be succeeding online and you're gonna start driving more leads and sales in less time. In just two minutes a week, you can save time, save money, and sell more cars with the marketing tune-up. Subscribe on our website to get started today.